Hi Deerfield, uh, perhaps I can expand on what Gary's trying to explain um, and because you seem to be making the same um, error or misunderstanding as the uh, the video, the excellent video you pointed to um, um, because the author of the video uh, seems to be making the same mistake as you um, about if we double click on this what this pop-up menu style does okay um so first and foremost what i'm saying it if you've imported a menu from um the lo uh, the local or the global um design gallery or online design gallery and i think that i use this minimal five nav bar new um you can see that it has these named colors come in this one here is theme color one this one here is light text i think that's the website backdrop okay uh the first thing you can do if you want to change the button these button colors without even um going in and editing the buttons you can just click on the color editor drag that theme color one into the and say i wanted to change it to red i just change that to red and notice that all the buttons change to red um so, so, so similarly uh, if i Put the light text color up i can change that light text not that you'd want to but you can put that to green um so that's a quick and easy way um to change colors of buttons without even having to uh, open up the navbar properties unticking the you know it, um, whatever is required to untick and just go through it is to most of the nav bars that go in have these named colors which are very easy to adjust okay so let's go into this double click on this now and what i'm going to do um, let me just change these to a hash or a pound sign i think you're from the states uh, hash okay they don't actually lead anywhere but they act as a button um, right now say this button text one say I wanted call this my sub menu and first thing I need to do is just say do nothing for that do nothing okay and I click here and um, I'll call it DD for drop down one, DD for drop down two, whoops, better put a hyphen in there, DD three, uh, set the URL again to a hash, to a hash. to a hash and I do wish this uh, web properties link window would stay open while you're doing that rather than having to double click it every time uh, but that's just a, another bug <laughs> another bug there okay um, and let's have a look and see what happens here now when we test it we've changed the text and they change this time we've got this drop down menu comes up here right under that this button doesn't have a link that one that one and that one does um so if we click on this this time and go into the pop-up menu style this is where that drop down menu maybe it'd be better to call that a drop down menu style um comes into effect um i'm going to make the text bigger I'm going to make that 19 
I'm not sure if that's points or pixels, it doesn't matter. 19 down horizontal offset spacing. I'm going to give it a border of one. Uh, animation instant transparency and vertical offset. I'm not going to touch now on the menu background. Um, I can either click edit or click that, um, and I can um, make that. Uh, what, 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 what color should we make it? Um, theme color one. I can make the default uh, light text, or I can edit it and change it to something else if I want. Uh, but I'll just stick on light text for the time being. Um, menu background here. I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to just edit it this time, and I think I'll make it just white. Um, the menu text over. I'm going to edit and make that black. Um, theme color uh, the default border. I'm gonna, let's try just theme color one. See how that goes. And if I click OK, OK, and this time test it, uh, up. that comes in like that, that comes in like that. And as I go over these, you can see how they change. And that's why this pop-up menu style changes the text in the drop-down menus. It doesn't change the text in the base navbar menu. Anyway, this is Egg. Hope that helped. All the best. Cheerio. Bye.